We're here with UIC head cross country coach Ashley Lucas as the team prepares to run on Friday afternoon here at Bradley. But before we look ahead, I want to look back to the last time that the Flames were in action at the meet at Notre Dame. Very big meet. Overall, what were your takeaways from that, uh, that performance? Yeah, I mean, on both the men and the women, I think there was positive steps that we took in it. Um, we weren't 100% satisfied, but I don't know if you ever can be. Uh, it was a big meet. So, I mean, on the women, you had six of the top 25 teams there in the nation. Same with the men. So just getting them in a race there um, is great. And I think the biggest thing we took away from it was seeing how much the team has matured from last year. Uh, last year, if we would have taken them there, they would have looked like deer in headlights. Just very nervous going up against teams like Colorado and New Mexico. So I think just seeing their composure um, aided in their performances and just kind of getting into it they we let them go we didn't really have a race plan we just said to race and they moved up well throughout the race uh into the pack and everything so i think just the the maturity level was the biggest thing that we kind of took away from that you talk about the maturity level but at the same time you still have a lot of young runners on, on both the men's and women's teams you know about two months or so into the seasons what have you what progress have you seen from from those young they're just they're getting stronger um, whether that's getting stronger in the weight room getting stronger on the, the cross-country course uh, from workout to workout they're gaining that confidence that I don't think those now sophomores had as freshmen so just kind of you know freshman year can be hard because you're just getting used to a new environment so now that they're a little bit more settled in um, that confidence is coming out which is helping I think even now the now freshmen, they see these sophomores who might have struggled a little bit as freshmen, um, progressing the way that they are as sophomores. Uh, and that's kind of jump-starting the freshmen that we have now. And they're starting that a little bit earlier than our sophomores um, did. So their maturity levels are a lot bigger. Um, their confidence is growing. And I think that'll definitely aid as we get to conference in a couple weeks. Uh, speaking of getting to conference, this race at Bradley is the final tune-up before those conference championship races. How does that play into your preparation at all for uh, for this week? Yeah, I mean, Bradley will be a good test for us as far as conference goes. There's a lot of Horizon League teams there. Um, so Oakland will be there. They're the <clears throat> reigning champs on the Horizon League for cross country. Uh, IUPUI will be there again. And then Wisconsin-Milwaukee. So kind of three of the heavy hitters as far as the Horizon League goes. So just getting in a race with them um, before conference is great. We don't usually see Oakland before the actual conference meet, so kind of having a little precursor to conference, I think one will show us what we need to work on in those remaining two weeks before conference, and two, just kind of hopefully um, give us a little bit of confidence, because on both the men and women's side, they've looked great in the last two weeks. They Their workouts have been strong, um, and they're ready to go, so this weekend we're really just telling them not to put any limits on themselves and just go out and race. So uh, that was kind of going to be my next question, just looking ahead at Bradley. You told mm -hmm. us some of the teams that are going to be out there. Is this, uh, is this kind of like Notre Dame where you just go out and race like you said? Yeah, I mean, it's another big field. Um, it, there's probably still about at least 20 teams on both the men and the women. Bradley is a little easier course to navigate as far as um, – the dense field in it. It's going to be big again, but uh, Notre Dame can get kind of narrow at some points and hard to move. Uh, Bradley's a little bit easier, but it's definitely going to be one where we just want to see where they're at. So we don't aren't really going in with too much of a race plan. We're just telling them to compete. And uh, it, especially when it comes to the Horizon League schools, if they see a maroon jersey, keeping their eye on that IUPUI. If they see the black jersey, knowing that's Oakland and kind of uh, gauging that um, so that we can take as much confidence from this meet going into conference.